This is Jay Woodward, and I'm pleased to present a brief overview of the significant changes to the A117.1 Accessibility Standard. The purpose of the significant changes to the A117 Standard is to identify and explain some of the most important changes that occurred between the 2003 and 2009 editions of the standard. This book provides the reader with a brief summary and detailed discussions of the changes. The text provides commentary and analysis, including some of the reasons behind the change and how it affects the application of the requirement. The Significant Changes book provides 170 pages of material addressing changes for 68 topics. The changes addressed in the book were selected based on items such as their frequency of application, special significance, or the way it will impact the application of the standard. The material is laid out to help the reader easily identify the key information. The top of the page includes the section number, the subject, and the type of change, which may be an addition, deletion, modification, or simply a clarification of the code provisions. The Change Summary section provides a quick overview of the change text. The relevant code text is also included. New text is underlined, and deleted text from the 2003 edition appears in a strikeout format. Presenting the text in this legislative format allows the user to see exactly how the standard has changed. This slide further illustrates the reader-friendly layout of the book. Photographs or line art illustrate the correct application of the new code provisions. The Change Significance section explains in detail how the standard changed as well as the intent and application of the revised provisions. A number of changes occurred that affect the signage requirements of Chapter 7. This slide shows some of the examples, including pages that address a new scoping section for the sign provisions, guidance to the proper requirements and sections for each type of sign, and a new section to address variable message signs, or VMS. This slide shows examples of the illustrations that are provided with the changes for residential dwelling and sleeping units. The changes in Chapter 10 of the standard include items such as accessible routes within the units, access to windows and electrical panel boards, elimination of the kitchen storage limits, the need for an open frame bed in an accessible type unit, and revisions to address the number of fixtures and restrooms within a unit that must be accessible. The standard has also added a new Type C dwelling unit that is intended for jurisdictions that want to address aging in place or visitability. The 2009 edition of the standard contains a number of new sections and requirements. These are some of the items that are included as significant changes because they are an addition to the standard. These items, along with the variable message signs and Type C dwelling units mentioned earlier, are provisions that anyone using the standard should be aware of. Significant Changes to the A117.1 Accessibility Standard is a valuable resource for building officials, plans examiners, inspectors, design professionals, contractors, and others involved in the construction or accessibility industries. In addition to the A117.1 Accessibility Standard, books in the Significant Changes series also include the 2012 International Building Code, International Residential Code, International Fire Code, and the International Plumbing, Mechanical, and Fuel Gas Codes. The Significant Changes series also includes some books dealing with both the 2006 and the 2009 International Codes. The information for ordering this publication from the International Code Council is shown on your screen. Thank you for your interest.